Hey guys, welcome in Advanced Excel Program 2013 and I'm Sanjay Kumar, your trainer. In last class, we learned that how to use VLOOKUP and now we will learn how to use HLOOKUP. So what is the difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP? VLOOKUP focused on vertical area. However, HLOOKUP is works very well with the horizontal area. So here I have opened Excel 2013 and for our demo we have a small table here it is an employee table so you would see employee name employee id cell number salary commission incentive country and group and we're going to use hlookup so hlookup work on horizontal areas it worked on columns so let's see how it works in real time so i'm gonna type equal sign that allow me to use formulas i'm gonna type hlookup and here we have and in syntax you would see a lookup value so lookup value here would be a horizontal columns any of the you know uh, the column value can be our lookup value in vlookup we use that lookup value in vertical rows instead of columns but in hlookup we're going to use columns as a lookup value so in, in our scenario we're going to use employee name because that is one of the heading in our column here so we're using employee name comma table area would be the data where we have all the records I'm gonna select all the data that we have here comma and in row index so here is the key difference between VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in VLOOKUP you would find column index number instead of row index number so we have to give the row number that for which of these rows so these are the rows 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so we have to give exact row number from which we need data so for this demo here I'm going to give a row number 2 and comma and range lookup we have to identify either the we need the approximate match or exact match so we need exact match I'm gonna double click and select it and enter so here you would see we use J19 that is an employee name and we used employee table we pick second row and exact match and it is giving the exact value that we are looking for so either I can you know go and uh, create another formula for a country but there's another way of doing this that can save you much time so I'm gonna click on the same cell where we created our first formula and going in a formula bar here and here in the table area I'm gonna select it I'm going to press F4 from my keyboard what that will do that will add a dollar sign for your column and your row number and this will freeze entire table so this will allow you to drag your formula for a country and group cell as well if you would not freeze it it would not work it because it will also move the entire table area as well so let's see how it works now I'm gonna press enter and here in the handler I'm going to click and track and drop so here you would see that formula applied for uh, this cell for country and for group column as well in coming videos I will show you much more advanced way of using HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP formulas however if you have any question or concern you can post that on my YouTube comment section and in next video we will learn about lookup don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so you can get update on coming videos in this series thank you for watching this video we will meet again